Yet again, we should get them looking straight at us, hopefully. for them again. Oh, how beautiful was that? Walking straight into us. I'm sure you had full eye contact with them as well. What we want to do is just stay ahead of them enough. Don't look at the way they move. Just look at it at the moment. So Alex, I'm going to keep moving. I know it's making hard for you, but it's just all the way. Everywhere you look at the moment is stunning. There's the crocodile. Look at him. Walking back into the water. Oh, look at that. Fuck it all back in the water. Hippo in front of us yawning. <laughs> Sun is busy setting in a beautiful glowing ball of red. And uh, we should have two lionesses popping out yet any second now. What more do you want from this? It's all happening right. It's all happening live. And, uh, where is she going? It seems she was going to come around this side. Let's just go and sit there. Yeah, they're up there. They're in our usual stopping spot. I think we're just going to take a seat here. They're a little bit aware of us again. Look at that. Should give us a perfect viewing spot when they come down to drink. Oh, sun has just dipped away. We've still got plenty of light. And look at that. Stations and Gala just getting to Bufuzuk Dam now. I'm going to push them out here. Yeah, please thanks, uh, copy that you're leaving your legends, you'll be there in the harvest, thanks, sir. Cool, Venom, that's you're at the, sort of the tree, the normal stopping side of the water, so just pull in when you get here. Oh, now pull in at that side or in the other side? Oh, my God. Uh, sort of, either or, it's really good from wherever. Um, yeah, maybe from that side. Uh, give me a shot when you're closer, we'll see where they are. Good, okay. Oh, guys, this is, this is what people wait lifetimes for sometimes to see. Just look at that. Lapping up the water, look at the tongues, look at the reflections, the eyes. Wow. What more do you want than this? So we're sitting right here. We just a nice distance away from them, probably about 15 meters or so, 20 meters, just enough that they don't mind us. Heads right together there as well. I, mean, I feel a bit silly trying to explain to you why this is beautiful. It's clear to anyone watching this that this is a special place to be at the moment. Alex has got the biggest grin on his face ever. He was telling me the other day he's been dreaming of doing this since he was a little boy. 
to now sit out in Africa with a hippo right here next to us blowing bubbles every now and again. Crocodile just behind us in the water, sun setting to the west and two gorgeous lionesses that not only are drinking water right in front of us but we've also followed their story since yesterday. We've seen them soon after they killed that kudu. We saw them last night. We saw them with full bellies, lazy and sleeping. Followed them down here to the water. Found them by surprise earlier. Basically they've surprised us twice in two days. And now we get to watch them drinking like this. This is what it's about. This is why you join us. This is why you come and drive. Oh, look at that. Well timed, Alex. Oh, you're on the croc. <laughs> As you spun around, the hippo also yawned. The crocodile seems to have a sneaky plan here. It snuck right up to us here. It's literally, there you can see, just here on the edge of the water. Hippo gave a big yawn. Let's see if he does another one. Those lionesses are very thirsty. It doesn't look like they've had water since maybe yesterday morning at least. So they're still lapping up. A friend of mine once watched a lion drinking and he saw it from the beginning. He was by himself so he had some time. And I think he counted just over 2,000 individual licks or laps. I don't know how you say it. Lapping makes sense but I'm not sure if it's laps. Look at that still going at it. Now you remember we spoke about those sort of coarse hair or nails like on the, on the tongue that they can use to lick the meat off bones also for grooming. And this is the other very important use. Look at the surface of the tongue. You'll see they're using the the flat surface or the top surface of the tongue and they're actually touching the water and that's capturing the little water drops in those nail like hairs is the best way I can explain it on the tongue and that's how they're getting the water into their mouth see them just scanning around looking around just making sure there's nothing sneaky around that's going to surprise them back to drinking again Gorgeous. Look at that. As always, just look at those eyes. Every now and again when they look in our direction or just when they look around. There's just so much wilderness and freedom and wildness in those eyes every time you look into them.